I'll be showing how to insert and embed a form into a Microsoft PowerPoint deck. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint that's part of Office 365, and that's what you'll need to do this. Now let's start out. I've got my slide deck open here in Philosophy, and I'm going to go to the Insert menu. Right here, there is a Forms button. So when I click Forms, what's going to happen on the right side, it's loaded all the forms and quizzes that I've already prepared. So I've got a Philosophy quiz and a couple other forms. Now to start out, we'll keep this simple. I'm going to put a form quiz right onto this slide. So I've selected the slide and I've got the form here and I'm just going to choose insert. Now you can see it inserted that philosophy quiz right onto the slide. Now it's ready to go. It's really easy. Another note, if you want to change something on that, there's a little flyout right here. If I click it, you'll see I can choose to select or delete. So this allows me to manipulate the actual form that is embedded on to the slide. Now, the first thing I'll do is, let's say I'm distributing this PowerPoint to students in my class or other people. When they launch this slideshow, I'm gonna launch it right from here. That form will be interactive. So from the current slide, here's the quiz. So who's this a picture of? That looks like my good friend Socrates. Next question, number two, I'm just gonna guess this one, I'm not really sure. And then lastly, describe the philosophical underpinnings of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Well, that's easy. Be excellent to each other. And when I'm done, I just click Submit. And this is just like the regular form survey. I get thanks and a response. And now when I hit Escape here, you'll see I'm back into PowerPoint. So that was really easy just to embed a quiz that I created, as well as we'll talk about forms in just a bit. Now as the educator, if I go into Forms, here's Microsoft Forms, here's that philosophy quiz, and it shows one response. So if I go into here, I go to the Responses tab, and you can see the different responses. I just did one response here, but you can see it automatically tallies up the information. There's some nice graphs and charts. I can even open that in Excel. And that's how quizzes work in forms. Now to go back to PowerPoint, we'll show how to create a new form. Back in PowerPoint, I'm gonna to go to the end of this slide deck and I'm gonna have a very last slide here. We'll create a new slide. And it's just a blank slide, but I'm going to click create a new form and we're going to put a form onto this. This is going to be a little survey to see how they like my class. So I click new form and this launches me right into Microsoft form. So I'll give my form a title. How would you rate today's class? And we'll add a new question and it's going to be a rating question. And I'll say rate the class today on a scale of one to 10 and we'll choose the levels and we'll scroll down to say 10 and we'll make it required. I just one simple question and I'm all done. This is what it's going to look like when it shows up as the form. Now, when I go back to PowerPoint, this form will automatically be embedded right onto the slide. So let's switch back to PowerPoint. Look at that. It's right there on the slide. How would you rate today's class? It's all ready to go. The other nice thing is let's say that I want to edit this and I want to add one more question. If I go to edit right here, here's that little form. How would you rate today's class? If I click edit, it launches me right into that form. Maybe I want to add one more question. What was your favorite part? And we're all done with that. Now, if I go back to PowerPoint, it automatically updates. There we are, that new question is added. So at the end of this presentation, they can now fill out a little rating and I can go get all of that information in forms. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.